Hey everyone, welcome back to another paper shoot camera video. Today we're going to talk about how you can take better photos with your paper shoot camera. For any camera you buy, it takes a bit to get used to and figure out what works best for it. I've had the paper shoot camera for just over a year now and I've learned some things along the way, so I'll share some tips on what make my paper shoot photo taking experience even better. Go outside. The paper shoot camera does really really well in natural daylight. Most of my favorite photos I've taken with this camera were taken outside. This also encourages you to get away from your phone and get some fresh air. Focus on lighting. For lighting, make sure the light is facing the subject for best results. Unless you were looking for a specific silhouette look, which you would then have the light behind the subject. Play with the color filters. If you know about the paper shoot camera, then you probably know it has four color filters you can choose from. I think it's fun to take pictures of the same thing just with different color filters or switch it up every so often just to see which filter you like best. And related to the filters, check the filter switch whenever you pick up your camera. Just to make sure you're using the one you want. Maybe you think you're shooting in the color filter, but you're actually using black and white. The photos will still turn out great, but it might not be the exact look you intended for. Shoot in the sepia or cool tone filter for the most color rich images. That's one of the reasons the green slash sepia filter is one of my favorite filters to use because it makes the image more saturated. It makes the greens green and the blues blue. Be patient. There's a slight pause after you hit the shutter button, so wait until the LED lights turn off and the shutter noise stops before you move. This is to make sure your photos don't end up with any possible blur. Test out the range of the camera. The paper shoot camera has wider framing than what you see through the viewfinder hole, which is nice because you're able to get a lot in the shot. But if you're looking to frame something more specific, get a little bit closer than you think. All right, those are some paper shoot camera photo taking tips. I hope it was helpful. If you have any tips that I didn't mention, leave them in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.